Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is The Rambler, episode 16, From Sea to Shining Sea. Because it's an American thing. Uh, you know, it's in the, it's in the song. Um, what the hell song is it? America the Beautiful? From sea to shining sea. Something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. We are going to be playing two teams just above us in the standings. That would be today, Montreal and Atlanta. Now, you'll notice the standings are very, very tight. All right? Between ninth and second, five points. In fact, tenth and second, six points. That's kooky tight. I mean, and when you expect that only six points, only six player teams will get into the playoffs, it's tight. It's crazy tight. So the only one with an advantage here is um, Montreal with a game in hand and uh, Toronto with a game in hand. But Chicago's gotten a few extra games under their belt and are in deeper trouble. So let's have a look. Oh, and we are having a little tiny bit of a, what we might call an injury crisis. Uh, we are missing... Ooh, ooh, ooh. You'll notice down here, Woodbury, Pirolito, and Antonio. And yes, that's our starting right back, and both our starting center backs. So today we will be starting Claude Dielna, and for his first start in Major League Soccer, I believe, it is indeed his first start in Major League Soccer, Cla um, Oliver Stahl, the guy we picked up in the second or third round of the draft as a, as, you know, a way to use up the draft pick, more or less. Um, he's been bitching and moaning about not getting enough playing time and blah, blah, blah. He's supposed to be Generation Adidas. I don't think he's that good. Um, he's not very quick, which I always like in my center backs. Uh, he's, you know, I mean, even his agility is terrible. The only thing he's got really going for him is good determination and marking and tackling. All right, he can't even head the ball very well. So he is not a good center back, and I'm less than jazzed about having to use him, but I literally have nobody else. I have Joshua Smith, who is even worse. Uh, he's got a little bit of pace, and he can do his positioning like the other guy can't, and he can jump and head, but he can't mark or tackle for beans. So, I'm really stuck here. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to use what I have to use, and we'll see how we go. So wish us some luck here, because we're going to need it against Zebu Nation's Montreal Impact. going to be one of those days, is it? Come on, laptop. Wakey, wakey. Thank you. All right. So, no big surprises from the um, Montreal team. <coughs> Excuse me. Evan Bush in goal. Cabrera in the back. Uh, who else do we got in here that I recognize? Mancosu up front, of course. So, um, it, they've got a pretty good team. And uh, we're going to have to be at our best to beat them. So let's see how we get on. I wish they hadn't... They seem to have taken away the, the thing that allows you to see the stats when, when you click... When you hover over those little icons, which I'm finding a little frustrating. I actually kind of tended to use those more often than not. All right. What are we going to say to them? Oh, I know what we're going to say. We love to say revenge. All right. Night and coffee for Gundes and Kamara are motivated. That's good. That's good. Chris Tierney takes the armband. Why? Because everybody else is out. Um... He's just being rested. Um, 
which I surely want this more than they do. The big advantage here is we are at home, and we've been pretty darn good at home. So let's hope that continues today. Oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, that's a great start, guys. Super duper. Looks like one of their guys pulled up pulled up lame Mankosu. <coughs> Which is, you know, good for us. He's a good forward. Yep, he's gone down over there. Ugh. But Knighton, that was terrible. Getting beaten at your near post like that. Oh, and he's gotten himself a sub stubbed finger in goal. That's just wonderful. Oh, we are in so much trouble. Oh, and that's what we need, more injuries. The only good news is I've actually got somebody who can replace him. But... We get anybody... Oh, fractured cheekbones, super duper. just had somebody play through one of those on my Sunshine on Leith save. Oh, Kamara, dude! You had time! we came back into it. I'm gonna say we've been unlucky. Let's see if they can react to that and actually be useful. Oh my god, eleven thousand in the stands in the sixty seven thousand seat stadium. I bet that's just a rocking atmosphere. There we are. Kamara gets his header on it. And we've gotten the leveler. Oh, it's on his birthday. Now well, that's nice. Farrell with the throw. Went. Da Juan back out to Farrell. Runs down the line. Crosses. Kamara leaps highest. And off the underside of the crossbar we're in. Tierney's there. Back to Knighton. Thumped to the right. Agadello. Thumped again. Finds Nyasi and Kamara and the back of the net. My goodness, what a combination. And with that, we move back up into third position in the league. Well, in the conference, anyway. That was a great play by Nyasi. <coughs> to play it past, past three players and still find his man like that. That was really impressive. Sorry about that. My throat's a little rough this morning. I'm not sure why. Oh, that's not good. Jackson Hamel's away, and Knighton makes the save. I wonder if I can get something good out of Bushway in this game. He's been really off the boil. And also Tierney, because he's on a yellow card. And oh 
Maduro. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Hold on to this. Hold on to it. Get me one more goal. Oh, somebody tackle, will ya? Ugh. Oh. That's just frustrating. And again, if we had our regular center backs, there's no way this goal goes in. But Dielna, I don't care if he is a... No, that's Stahl. That's Stahl that got beat. Useless tit. That's very frustrating. <coughs> very frustrating. Okay, that's a little more like it. Bushways away. Please tell me he can get something. Yes! Nyasi with the goal. And Bushway with the assist. I'm pleased with that. He's been so poor in the recent games. I think his average rating has been something like 6.4 for the last five. So... It's good to see him actually accomplish something. Jackson Hamel. Oh, Stahl actually made a play. When? Oh, 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 coffee's gotten there first. Well done. All right. Nyasi up to Kamara. Back through for coffee. Bust through. And whoa! Bush makes a great save. Flicked out of play by the Montreal defender. Win. Oh! Offside. No. Somebody pushed. Okay. Little head tennis in the middle of the field. Knighton with the biggest save. Oh boy. Great tackle. Callan Rowe well in. One minute to go, less than a minute. Can we hold on? Farrell clears it. Up to Kamara, out wide for Bushway. Run with it! Run with it! Ugh. Take it down the corner. Keep it there. Or throw it to the other team. You know, that's another option, I guess, strategically. <sighs> Nyasi, good man. Hold on to the ball. Just hold on to the ball. That's it. And we win the game. Take that, Zebu Nation. Woohoo! And we move above them in the league. So I'm going to say, good job to come back and win that. Keep your spirits up. Let's go on to the next game and win that one too. So we leapfrog them, jumping up into third position in the conference, but only sixth in the league, yes, and the supporters' shield, it looks like, but that's all right, I'll take that, I'm not that worried about it. How's the board feeling these days? Sort of okay-ish. How are they feeling about the competition? Reach the conference final of the MLS. We, we expect, the minimum expectation is that the team reach the wild card. But we still expect the team to reach the conference semi-final. What the? Oh, this is such a weird league. <laughs> uh, finish in the top half. 
All right, we're definitely going to finish in the top half. I'm not worried about that. All right, let's see how bad. Four to six weeks. I don't think we can afford to lose him, so we're going to put him on with the special face covering thing. Hey, it was my words at halftime that inspired the win. Hooray! Whole team kept working. Uh, okay, be confirmed it's better than feared. We've been very good with crosses. That's nice. No, I'm not placing them on the bloody injury list. Why would I want to do that? Keep it up, keep it up. Alright, that's... <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to pop this closed for a minute, and then we will be back uh, with the Atlanta game. See you soon. See you soon? Soon? What's soon? I don't know. I'll see you soon. Welcome back, and we are ready for the game against Atlanta. It's going to be a tough one. I'll grant you that. But we're going to see what we can do with it. Uh, let's see how the Bare Bones squad looks today. Knighton at the back, of course. Tyranny, Dielna, Stahl, and Farrell. Antonio is recovered enough that he got to play in an international the other day, but he's not back from his international experience at the moment. And Kamara's away on an international, and so is Nemet. So we are really scraping the bottom. Wellington Pirolito is on the bench only as he recovers from his uh, injury, only because he's slightly more fit than London Woodbury, who is also recovering. Um, Fagundes has a broken cheekbone, so he's going to be playing with the mask on if he plays. It's it's a mess. It's absolutely a mess, and I'm. Can only hope that somehow in this away game we manage to 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 hold on long enough that we can actually win the game or even get a draw. Honestly, I'd be happy with a draw. Um, we are still sitting third, one point clear of Atlanta, but they have a game in hand, so mm. not ideal. And you know things continue to be ridiculously tight. You know, we're in third place. We're only six points out of tenth. So, yeah. Not good. But we are only two points out of second. We are the highest scoring team in the league and the highest conceding team in the league. That's our big problem. And that has not been helped by our missing two center backs. So let's get to it. Yes, I know the Olivers are not having a great time. Pick up where you left off. Give that a shot. Okay. Okay. Go out and see if you can give me something, boys. Maybe we'll try it as a counter. Just for interest's sake. I'm interested to see how we do on the counter, and honestly, I'm not expecting to be able to beat Atlanta anyway, so... Doing something a little different might shake things up a little bit and give us some result. Who knows? Winley. Bushway back inside for Da Juan. Coffee. Winley again. Back to coffee. Nyasi. Over the top for White, who scores. What a nice one. That was blazing. We just sort of, we were here, we were there, we were here, we were there, and bam, it's in the net. And that moved us up to second, so I don't know whether Philadelphia is not playing or if they're losing or what, but that moved us up to second in the league, in the conference, which is crazy talk. How can we be up there with a defense of Stahl and Dielna? That's just crazy. <laughs> there we go. White, get somebody. Good, 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 good. Win Lee. Coffee. Back to white. 
He finds actually a cross, but he doesn't get anybody. When? Through for coffee? No. Nasty off the bar. Hacked clear for a corner. Well, so far this is going reasonably well. Let's enjoy it. Winley with the corner. Up high for Da Juan, who somehow managed to already get himself a yellow card. Nyasi out wide for White, back for Da Juan. Da Juan, Bushway, to nobody. Hmm. Nyasi, Kofi, back out wide for Nyasi, races down the wing, can he get around him? He does. Oh, when Bushway gets the easiest goal he'll ever get. <laughs> As the goalkeeper leapt for it and missed. That was pretty sad, honestly. So yeah, he jumps for this and misses completely or he gets pushed out of the way by his own player or something because he just doesn't get it at all and Bushway gets the easiest goal forever and Nyasi with his second assist and third in the last two games with a goal as well and he's just playing very well and 2-0 at the half I'm going to say that's a pretty good start Yay for counter. Team talk. I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, lads. Oops, Farrell's got his sixth yellow card of the season. And now Stahl's got himself one. That's terrific. What with all our huge number of um, subs we've got for the defense and all. Alright, time for a change. Let's bring on Grove for a win. Smith for Stahl. Boy, we are digging deep in the barrel here. And Coldwell for Da Juan. And let's hold on to this win, boys. Let's just hold on to the win. <laughs> Not impressive. Tierney, what can you do with it? There you go. Finds Caldwell. Nice pass. Then boots up the field to make sure that he's part of the play still. That's good responsible play. Nyasi again. And again, White. It's Nyasi with his third assist of the game. And we are crushing Atlanta at home. My goodness. I, I did not expect this at all. I would honestly have been very pleased with a draw. And uh, instead it looks like we're taking three points. And there we go. <coughs> all over but the whistling you know how to whistle ref don't you that's my man hurrah well we'll take that we will take that absolutely good job Alright, so how's that for an episode? Two unexpected wins.
I'd say that's not too bad and maybe worth a like, wouldn't you say? Come on. So maybe hit the like button. Drop a subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Follow me on Twitter. Support me on Patreon, maybe. Whatever is your thing in way of showing happiness about this video, you can do that. And it will make me happy. In any case, I hope you're having a great day. And take care.